The following is a fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and Dragon Ball Super are all owned by Funimation, Toei Animation, Shueisha, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Make sure to tell future me she raised you right. Oh, I've got a lot to tell you. I'm gonna miss you, Chunks. Have a safe trip back to the future, McFly! Goodbye, everyone! I'll never forget you! See you in 17 years, sweetie! on that verse, Einstein. Collapse that wave function all over your pasty German e- Huh? Trunks! Oh, you're back. Thank goodness you're... Everything go well? Hey, Mom! You ever meet Dad? <sighs> okay, look. Love is complicated. Seriously, how was I supposed to prepare you for a year alone with him? I never even got a week. Mom, you didn't prepare me for a car ride to the grocery store with the man. What did you see in him? A short, stubborn, powerful person desperate for recognition. As a female scientist in her early 30s, I guess I identified with that. I just wish I could have. Well, apparently you're his baby boy, so he wasn't all bad, right? A revelation that came at the cost of my literal life. Then again, considering the dysfunction of that whole group, maybe I'm not the worst off. Yeah, it's because I raised you right. Oh. Uh, about that. Before you found out I was your son, in the past, you might have made a pass at me. Well, duh. Mom! Hey, it's not my fault your dad's genetics and mine got along like chocolate and peanut butter. Is that why you used to call me your little peanut butter cup? This is Alpha Leader Wombat coming at you live from Parsley City. We've got our special guests, the Cyborgs, and they are tearing it up! I've already lost five men, I'm running out of ammo, and I'm holed up in the bank. Looks like this will be ALW's last report. Watch out, DJ! I'm coming home, brother! But tonight, we died in hell! Perfect. Just save me the effort of hunting them down. Be careful. I know you're stronger, but I don't want history repeating itself. Don't worry, Mom. I'll be back before that tea gets cold. Actually, it's it's probably going to take me a little while to get there, so... Right, so want me to put in a thermos you can just, or uh, make more when you, you get know, back? I'll just, I'll just finish it now. You know, sis, they say catharsis is actually bad for your health. And so is calling me a quote, hobot, end quote. I'd have gone with Rotha. Well, duh. Since you're a girl, you'd obviously be a gynoid. Which is funny, considering guy is in the... Mother? <laughs> Not a bad shot, Pops. <laughs> Must be popular down at the shooting range. <laughs> I, on the other hand, have terrible aim. I gotta get up real close, see? So do me a favor. Sit still. If you're reading this... Oh, right. Gynoid. Like gynecology. Huh. It's obvious when I think about it. Get away from him! <laughs> I hope you got everything out of your wretched lives you wanted. Because they end today. Nobody else is going to... Oh. Probably could have microwaved that tea. Well, well, well. Hey there, Lilac. It's been a few weeks. Surprised you're on your feet already. Also breathing. See, 17? This is what you get when you don't double tap. Also, does he look different to you? Yeah, ditched the sword, lost the jacket. Plus, you got jacked. He must be crushing that 5x5. Five five. Also, did you get a little taller? Or? Jesus Christ. Swipe right already! Pretty sure he's more your type. No thanks. I'm into shorter men. Sis, watch out! <gasps> God damn, she's cutting asshole! Now it's too 
bad you left that sword at home. Because now I'm going to have to do what comes next with my bare hands! Is this a bad time to point out his specific choice in shirt? You know, it's funny, and a little bit sad. You two androids didn't have to turn out like this. The ones I met in the- Hold up, did you just call us androids? That's offensive. Again with this shit? Oh, right. Uh, they called you androids in the past. The past? What, did you time travel? Uh, yeah. Wait, when was that? Shouldn't we remember you? How about this? If I don't kill you in the next minute, I'll give you an explanation. Trust me, wife beater. By the time we're done with you, we won't need one. Wait a second, that's what you meant by his choice in shirt? Jesus, dude! What, are you kidding? I put a bullet in some dude's gray matter not two minutes ago, and that's what's got you offended? Right. Any chance I could talk you out of this? What was my master's name? Huh? The man who taught me. The man whose arm you took. The man you killed. What was his name? Go... Wrong answer! You really think he's going to take the bait? I'm pretty sure I have a corpse in another timeline that says, yes, he will. Now stick to the script, Mom. Jeez, morbid. <clears throat> All right, son. Time to take this time machine back to the past, where there are two living cyborgs for you to help Goku defeat. Thanks, Mom. I can't wait to save all those juicy fat people in the past from those cyborgs with this time machine. Make sure to write. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh shit, is that him? You know, you never told me he was green, but I imagined he was green. Mom. He's looking right at us. Does he... does he know I can see him? Is his vision based on movement? Mom, script! All right, son, I'm going to make dinner. It'll be done by the time you get back. All right, tall, dark, and bugly. I know you're there. No, you don't. This is an ambush. Uh... I also know you're here to kill me and take my time machine. So let's skip the monologue. Also, you killing me. Ah, uh, but that's the fun part. And unfortunately, I seem to be missing two vital pieces. So I'm gonna need that time machine so I can... Go back in the past and absorb the cyborgs. To achieve my... Perfect form. Okay, you suck. You are sucking all the fun out of this. I'm the only one who sucks here, boy. That came out wrong. No, sounds right to me. Seriously, whose DNA made him look like he stepped into a teleporter with Jeff Goldblum? How... How do you know all this? Because, as someone once told me, multiverse theory's a bitch. Okay, I feel like you're referencing something, and I don't get it, and that's not fair. So I'm really gonna need that time machine now, so I can just go back and redo this whole conversation. Sorry, Cell. You already got your way once. Hey, Cell. Is that my name? Oh, man, that's way better than the name I came up with. I was thinking... Jiren. Yeah, see, I thought it was boring, too. Ah! <laughs> I hope you're prepared to meet your maker, in hell. Because I'm pretty sure that's where Dr. Jero is. <laughs> you think you're cute? Bitch, I'm adorable. Boy howdy kids, looks like your old friend Cell's in quite a sticky wicket. Whatever should he do? Use the Kamehameha. Good idea! Ha! Me! Ah! Let me finish! Get out of my f***ing timeline! And now, the end is near. Oh, God damn it!
It's over. After everything, this feels... This feels... Anticlimactic. So, truth be told, I never really got to know your father that well. He and I shared one night of passion after he came back to Earth. Mom, you... And unfortunately, he didn't know what protection meant. I really don't need to know this. But after that first time, I just thought... Well, in for a penny, in for a pounding. Uh, and I really was. Uh, 